just want to take you through some pictures just sent to me by a potential new customer who's asked me to have a look at some of the work that is being carried out to their new extension and more and more and more especially this year I've had so many roofs come back to me that are two or three years old and they've got problems and the problems stem from right from the very beginning now let's just have a look at what's going on with the build-up of this particular roof and the uh, way that they're putting in this skylight it's pretty obvious to me that they think that they've put the insulation in and they build they've built the upstand for a skylight to go on once all the roofing membrane goes over the top of this and up over the top you just put the skylight on the top and and you know they've done it as far as they're concerned but just just look how fundamentally wrong this is first of all the insulation that has been put in it, there's no vapor barrier underneath this they're using the foil or thinking if they've thought about it at all that they're using the foil which is at the base of the insulation as the vapour barrier. Secondly, it's not continuous. It's not coming across the bottom and then going up the face of the insulation and right the way up to this particular point here. It, it, they, they haven't done that. Now, maybe they're thinking that they are going to put some uh, uh, some some kind of vapor barrier from that point down to this point but it's going to be really difficult to finish it if they are because it should be lapping over and underneath this for it to be continuous not only that have they continued the vapor barrier by taping all the bottom of the joints all the way through and the answer is no they haven't now not only that they have actually put the insulation on top of the um, these are probably ends of joists or furrings all, all the way round and they haven't put a board down first. Now if you talk to the manufacturers of the insulation some manufacturers say that you can put the insulation just on top of the joists and it will bear the weight of the roof but in practice it's it, there's two problems with doing that. The first one is that all the weight is being borne just on a small area of insulation that can move and over a period of time and bouncing people standing on the top of the roof and that it does move up and down so you've got to have a very forgiving um, membrane all the way around and of course a lot of people these days are doing that putting GRP over the top of it, glass fibre over the top of it, which isn't forgiving and, and that's all cracking because the roof is moving too much. But more to the point is that you also you can't put a good vapour barrier down if you've got nothing to put the vapour vapor barrier down to. So before any of this went down, a sub deck, because we call this the top deck, a sub deck should have been put down. Once that subject, sub deck had been put down, the vapour barrier could have gone over the top of that and the build up could have been correct. Now, when doing this upstand if you are not going to put a skylight on that has already got an insulated upstand then care should be taken in the design of how you do this and there's a really simple way of dealing with that here you can see what we've done is that we've pushed through before just as a matter of interest, I'm standing on the sub deck here and you can see I've put a continuous vapour barrier all the way around and I brought it up because in a minute you'll see I'll put the insulation over the top of this and, and I'll butt it up against the sides. But now I've pushed this through the opening and I'm going around and I'm putting the um, vapour barrier on this. I've taken the vapour barrier all the way around the outside. Now I'm putting insulation around the outside. I've got no timbers when I go around this, which are going to be the weak part. The insulation all the way around the outside of this is continuous with this one butting right up against it and I go around and I foam everything. So you can see here that that, that could have been built in if the people were to have given it more thought. Now where is the blame to be? Should this have been left up to the builder to work this out or should there have been detailed drawings. I mean I would love someone to answer that question for me. If you want to put comments down that would be really really great but I don't think that that this should have been left to the builder to build this up. There should have been drawings given to the builder so he knew exactly how to do it. Hopefully this video helps you. Speak soon.